things are starting to turn green around T-Town, with plenty of Tulsans enjoying the good weather and out getting fit. So we start this week's Explore Tulsa with the fittest of them all. Then release of the crawlers. Followed by a one-stop shop. Plus getting in the hot tub. Hi, I'm Stevie Fernandez. And I'm Trish Whitmer. Thank you so much for joining us again for another Explore Tulsa. Stevie, what are you doing? Well, I'm getting warmed up to work out with Coach JC and some of Tulsa's finest with Fit First Responders. Yeah, Coach JC is known for founding Boot Camp Tulsa, his motivational speaking, and several books that he's written. And now he's helping Tulsa's first responders get fit and stay fit with his new program, Fit First Responders. It's no secret that Oklahoma has a few issues with staying in shape. Yep, and I'm trying to lose a pound or two myself. <laughs> but for Coach JC, it's not just losing weight, but helping all of Tulsa by making certain that those who protect us are in the best shapes of their lives too. I grew up with a great respect for, for first responders, for police and firemen, and I started to see a need here. And we said, you know what, these guys, they're competing in the most important sport that they'll ever compete in, it's life. Every single day they put their life on the line to protect us. We're helping athletes, you know, get to the next level, but these guys are the true heroes. These are the guys that need the training more than anybody. So we saw a need and we just fulfilled that need. Born and raised in New Jersey, came out here initially to play basketball at Oral Roberts University. Um, you know, went through something in my own life, ended my basketball career, and I thought, hey, what's the, what's the second best thing if I can't play the sport, maybe I can help other guys be successful at the sport. And that's the kickstart to my whole strength and conditioning uh, and coaching career. It was at Oral Roberts University as a young intern, then a graduate assistant, then the director of strength and conditioning. And that just propelled my career within the strength and conditioning world and the fitness industry. I met him uh, when I was uh, graduated from ORU. I was working out and I just wanted uh, something a little more and I knew that they, uh, he was with the uh, strength and conditioning and I just wanted to work out around, around you know, the athletes, not just in the commercial gym that they had at the aerobic center. I started an internship at my church. I set aside a year of my life uh, and just wanted to make myself a little bit better version of me that I could be. And it was during that time that, that JC approached me and said, hey, uh, I know you're doing the internship, I've got a job for you. So he introduced me to Boot Camp Tulsa, which was a major shock to my system because I used to have like a low level social anxiety and uh, you know, him putting me in front of a group of 50 women who were just hungry to work out, terrified me at first, you know, but, but it started to work for me and, uh, and now, I mean, I just, I, I love coaching. I was a strength coach at the Division One level, started Boot Camp Tulsa, Tulsa's number one fitness program, program for women, I launched Dynamic Sports Development, sports performance facility where we train athletes from nine years old to the professional level. But we had a lot of friends within law enforcement. Our Fit First Responders Foundation, I should say, we, it's a foundation, it's a nonprofit. We have year-round training that's open to any first responder, military, EMSA, police, sheriffs, anybody that's out there every single day protecting our streets. Being a police officer or you know a fireman or a medical personnel that's out there on the street, I mean, it's a physically demanding job. Yeah, we don't know one minute to the next what's going to happen on the job, I and mean, we can go from you know sitting down and enjoying a nice cup of coffee in our car to jumping out and being a full dead sprint. I think here, hearing some officers say, you know what, I got in a foot pursuit and I chased the guy, I caught the bad guy, and I wasn't sucking wind by the end of it. I wasn't doing that anymore. You know, seeing. Seeing them carry over, even the SWAT team guys, talk about when they do their, their training drills, uh, to see them say, you know what, I'm moving better. I can, I can actually feel my body stronger. Some guys have to carry a shield, and they're talking about how much easier it is to carry the entry shield, things along those lines. Our goal once a year is we put together a 25-week challenge where we put an incentive out there. This year we teamed up with Jim Glover, okay? So we're giving away a $40,000 truck just to get people that kickstart they need, that extrinsic motivation to say, hey, if a truck won't motivate you free and clear, you can win a truck over 25 weeks. They come through, they compete in physical fitness, they compete, it's an external transformation, the actual body transformation, the weight loss, the muscle gain, all that great stuff. But even more important than that, it's about winning in life. I think it's huge above all else because so many people see cops and they think they're these robotic, you know, I've got to be at the super professional level. We get to see them the way I look at all my clients, as people that have goals and want results in life. 
But to see these people come in here on a day-to-day -day basis, you see real people that sometimes go through real problems in their own personal lives. And we're here for them, no matter what's going on in their life. That's what we're here for. I mean, this this is this is as good as it gets. It's one it's one on one uh, instruction. Uh, I mean, it's 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 outlined. So anybody that's starting for the first time or has been a veteran in uh, you know doing CrossFit or any kind of high intensity working out, I mean, you're just getting you're getting 100% focused on you and they're really concerned about how you develop and, and, and your progress and your success in this program. Uh, and, and I just like the dedication on their part and, and the focus that they're putting on me. You know, you have guys that just say, you know, I'm more confident as an officer. I feel like I'm more equipped to do my job. As a citizen, and also as a coach, that gives me peace of mind. And I believe in life, you live to give. So for us here, we feel like we're sowing a lot into them and we feel like we're getting it back just from hearing these phenomenal, tremendous stories. Man, Coach JC has so much passion and energy for what he does. Just watching him work out made me want to get buff again. Well, with a little more work and tighter shorts, you could be the next Richard Simmons. All it takes, Trish, is desire and will to say goodbye to fat. And with a little help from Coach JC, we can all be healthier, especially Tulsa's first responders. But Coach JC needs our help to do what's right for Tulsa. So visit fitfirstresponders.org to find out how to do your part and participate. I met another bunch of guys who sport a lot of muscle. Oh, I'm guessing you're talking about the crawlers at the big meat run. And we'll learn all about it next when we come back with more Explore Tulsa. Introducing the DVR Plus from Channel Master, a truly unique HD DVR that delivers everything you want from subscription-free TV. With dual HD tuner technology and virtually unlimited storage capacity, the DVR Plus lets you enjoy the big game while recording your favorite broadcast show. And the DVR Plus lets you watch the most popular TV networks with the highest quality crystal clear HD picture for free. Just connect an HD antenna and you're ready to go. Connect the DVR Plus to high-speed internet and get even more. Enjoy instant access to shows and movies not available on broadcast television. With the DVR Plus, watching subscription-free TV is easy. You can access your video on-demand favorites and all your local broadcast channels in one intuitive guide. That's an industry first. Slim and stylish, the DVR Plus delivers everything you love about TV without the subscription. Find your channel master today at Video Revolution. Hi, I'm Tom Mancino. Welcome to the Military History Museum in Broken Era. We anchor the Rose District and we want you to visit us. And remember, you're watching Explore Tulsa. Hello and welcome back as we continue with more Explore Tulsa. This time we ventured out a little further out in green country to visit a legendary event that pits man and machine against rock. You mean rock, paper, scissors? Uh, no, I'm talking about people better known as crawlers, the folks taking on the rock crawling trails in Disney, Oklahoma. Uh, why don't you just say the big meat run? Everybody knows how cool that is. What and who is a crawler? You know, I can't necessarily say that there is um, a specific stereotype for a crawler. You gotta have some nerve, or cojones, or whatever you wanna call it. Whether you be a boy or a girl, you gotta be a bit of an adrenaline junkie. Start with a big pile of pipe, gears, tires, heavy duty parts, uh, motors, and start making them in something. You also have to have a very good mechanic or be married to one, which is what I am lucky to have. My guy turns wrenches on my Jeep all the time. What I have been told is that it originally started as customer appreciation and that he brought people here and it was his give back to his employees and his customers and stuff like that and for them to have a good time. And over the years, it just got bigger and bigger and bigger. And John and Edie have done a wonderful job. They're very supportive of Disney by bringing it back every year and we appreciate them wholeheartedly. You know, I heard, I've heard the story from um, various different people. John told me one time on a phone call I had with him just a few months ago that he started coming down here um, 20 years ago and, and he's from Claremore and found this, this playground as he calls it. And him and his buddies just played around here and then, he st then they started um, the meat run 12 years ago and um, it's just kind of grown year after year after year. I've been wheeling out here for 20-something years. 
come out on a weekend, found it, liked it, and still come back. Well, um, you know, actually what you have down here is some people bring their four-wheelers, some people have razors. Um, we actually have a lot of Jeeps in our group. The goal, of course, is, is to get over the obstacles, where they be rock or mud or, or the ridge and, and working your way through trails. It's kind of requires some finesse. You have to know where to, to position your tire and how your vehicle's gonna flex so that you keep it upright, but be able to crawl over the obstacle. People have a different outlook on four-wheeling than they used to. It's a little more respected than it used to be. The excitement and the, the, the anticipation is as much as anything. And, I, and even, I mean, the thing that is so crazy about this is people will break their toys. I mean, break them into pieces and have to winch them on the trailer. And they will be, and they'll know they're gonna spend thousands of dollars to fix it. And they're leading with a smile on their face and bragging rights of what they broke and where they broke it. Big Meat Run, these people are wonderful. Um, they're such good people. They have really given us some hope to grow and become better and bigger. And more big events like this mean more revenue for the town, better streets, better highways, you know, more businesses. So that's a good thing. They're really helping us out. You know, actually, in the off-road industry, I mean, you will see families out here wheeling with children in car seats, and all the way up to 80 and 90 year old retirees that have built a crawler and come here. So it's actually all ages in, in the off-road industry. Well, in fact, here's what amazed me this weekend. I have campers from Louisiana all the way to Minnesota staying with us this weekend. That's the draw for this area. It's all over the nation. It's phenomenal. Oh, it was just kind of a joke. We had an event and it grew from 12 people to what you see today. You know, actually, I, I'm a very small part of Big Meat Run. And, and, and I, the reason I say that is because this dream was John Sumner's dream. John and Edie are the promoters of it. I am a big supporter of anyone that loves this industry as much as I do. And, and so I'm a small campground owner that just tells everybody, you've got to come, you can't miss it. It makes me happy, uh, but then too I realize it, it was just time and, and people, people like to do what other people do. And fun is, fun is contagious. Man, oh man, those crawlers are crazy, but in a very good way. Reminds me a little of you, Stevie. The big meat run happens every year towards the end of March. So we'll have a little time to work on our rigs, get it ready for next year. Oh, but until then, the town of Disney would love to see you. And you can watch and learn more all about the happenings around Grand Lake by visiting rsu.tv and look for their show, Living Grand on Grand Lake. I tell you who's living grand. The family at Passion by Design. The mother, dad, and daughter team of artists are our next guests when Explore Tulsa continues. Hello, I'm John Erling with Voices of Oklahoma. Our great state has been home to countless individuals whose place in history has been earned through each of their many accomplishments. Voices of Oklahoma's mission is to preserve their story in an oral history presentation like none other. Accounts direct from famous Oklahomans, political figures, and many others who have left their indelible mark on the development, history, and future of Oklahoma. So please, treat yourself by listening to those who are the Voices of Oklahoma. TV from Explore Tulsa with my friend and optometrist for many years, Dr. Robert Zellner. Tell everybody why it's so good to come in to see you. <laughs> well, that's a great question. Let's see, we've got two great locations. We try to stay cutting edge at every point along the way because let's face it, everybody wants to come in and get taken care of in a timely fashion and get the latest, greatest stuff and save some money and get on with their life. And, and, see, and see clearly. And if you don't believe it, look on the website. Absolutely, drzellner.com. You can find that we have our two locations at 69th and Memorial and 30, 3030 South Harvard, or you can give us a call at 749-2020 or 461-2020. And I got four kids, and I gotta tell you, as a big family like that, it's affordable too. Oh yes, and of course, the number one reason, you save some money. I mean, with our two pair specials, with our uh, different unique packages that we put together, I mean, you can come in here and your money can go a lot farther than anywhere else. 
And that's why with Dr. Robert Zellner and Associates, seeing is believing. Oh, I like that, yeah. Stevie. Well done. <laughs> The warmer weather we've been having makes me want to enjoy the outdoors. Celebrate National No Housework Day this week on Explore Tulsa. Wait, that's an actual thing? Sure is. I mean, you wouldn't know because you celebrate year-round. Hey, I'm a busy girl, just like the Vest family that runs Passion by Design Art Gallery and Gift Shop. That place is so much more than just that. It's a photography studio, hair salon, gift shop. Uh, let's see for ourselves when we meet Bob, Daisy, and Candy. We've always been a supportive family. We, we support each other. I, I, I went into business first as One Shot Productions. We were doing, we were covering paintball tournaments uh, nationwide. We'd travel all over the country shooting paintball tournaments. Bob and I used to get in the car and drive around Tulsa and look for a photography studio for him way before I ever had a one chair shop of my own in the facility. We just couldn't find a place that would, would work. I started photography back in, I believe it was 1976. Got into photography and, and just fell in love with it. I loved the creative part of it. I just loved being a photographer. Back in the old days when I first got into it, you took a picture and you didn't know till a week later whether you got good stuff or not. And at the time I was shoot, I started out shooting weddings. And when you shoot something as important as a wedding and you don't know for a week whether or not anything even came out, it's a little nerve wracking. Whereas now we can shoot and know instantly if we got what we want and exactly how it works out. Then we decided to open this place up and that's been over four years ago. I was all behind this and gave her, this, gave her all the support she needed with the hair salon and with the art gallery and all that. In fifth grade at Franklin Elementary School, I crossed the street and watched the hairstylist in the Tulsa Academy of Hair. So I already knew in fifth grade that's what I wanted to do. And then when I became a, uh, a sophomore in high school, uh, a recruiter from Tulsa Technology Center, Tulsa Votech then, came out and I was ecstatic because I found out I could be through with, with cosmetology school by the time I graduated from high school. It was a lot of hard work for both of them to get here. They built this place from the ground up and it's such an important part of who they are that they don't have time sometimes to do the little things. And so I'm glad that I can come in and not only this place lets me hand take care of my passion, but it also gives them an opportunity to have someone else to help them with theirs. Having Candy on board is pretty amazing. <laughs> I mean, we just, Bob and I just kind of tell her what to do and that girl just goes. And sometimes we give her, or at least I do, I give her tasks that are seemingly impossible and she finds some way to make it work. She, she's real good at what she does and without her, uh, we would be further, way, way back from where we are right now. They let me hang my art here to sell and I help them out with PR and the young people things like Facebook. <laughs> the gallery came on board because I have, even when I had a very small salon, I was already trying to find people who did art and I just said, I'll just put it in my little salon and see what happens. I just want to expose you. I just want people to see what you do. When she asked me if I would be willing to come in here on Saturdays on my day off for my job and help her, I started being around the art. And soon after that, she had a writing group start, started here called Write to Breathe. And we started meeting on the last Wednesday of every month. And as probably by the third writing group, I had an empty journal that I'd had for years and I just started writing in the middle of the group and haven't stopped. I ended up writing a book a year, like, a year later <laughs> and I have, I've self-published a book now um, with poetry and short stories. The gallery thrives on finding people who have never had their things displayed anywhere. We love helping people get started. I decided I'm going to do all I can to help people be found and help people, as my daughter puts it, a path for your passion. We've, we started having um, art classes here a lot, acrylic and watercolor and different kinds of uh, very unique art like pen, paper quilling and um, shadow box classes and all kinds of fun stuff and of course I'm, I'm involved in all of them. I, I get to arrange them and host them. and be a part of all of them and so it's kind of thrown me back into being allow allowing myself to take the time to enjoy that stuff again. Just being a part of this has been pretty amazing. <laughs>
great story. As a family, they've done and gone through so much together, and it's really wonderful to see them finding a place to settle in and enjoy working together. To learn more about Passion by Design, visit them on Facebook or stop by their place in the Fontana Shopping Center at 51st Memorial. You know, the only thing that they didn't have at Passion by Design? What? A hot tub. Well, we know a guy that can hook us up at the Hot Tub Club. That's our next stop just ahead when we return with more Explore Tulsa. Hi, I'm Devin Dorney, and I'm here to tell you about the brand new Canon 70D. Well, one of the great things about the Canon 70D is that in this generation, you actually have autofocus during video recording. Uh, that was one of the things that held back some of the original SLRs that did video. It's very difficult to do a home video or something like that when you had to pay attention to a manual focus. Now, you have touchscreen controls and facial recognition that help you get the most out of your home video. It's an SLR, so it does both pictures and video. It takes 20.2 uh, megapixel stills and wonderful video. This is a camera that everybody can be efficient with. It can be used for birthday parties on up to professional video products and, and uh, professional photography products. Well, DSLRs offer you the opportunity to change your lenses and get different depths of field and different effects in your photography. And it gives you one an opportunity to take some of those really gorgeous photos that you see wedding photographers and baby photographers taking. And you can do that with an inexpensive lens. It's uh, really easy to do and it makes everybody feel like a pro. The camera itself shoots broadcast quality HD video to a convenient SD card which you can take out of the camera uh, and plug right into your computer, pull the video off and, and start editing. In fact, this camera does so much that there's really not enough time for me to tell you everything it can do. So why don't you come and visit me, I'm Devin Dorney, come and visit at Video Revolution and we can sit down and talk about the camera and I can show you exactly how you can take great home videos and still photos on your own. If you're like me, hard working. Can't wait to get home and relax and you'll be so glad you stuck around for more Explore Tulsa. Stevie, what do you think you're doing? Taking off my shirt. Getting ready to get into some hot tub action at the hot tub club. Did, did you bring your suit? No, you're not getting into a hot tub. We're just going to look at them at the hot tub club. People are starting to find out there's a lot of health benefits for the hot tubs. It helps detox the body because uh, it flushes out the system. Uh, at nighttime, it helps you sleep at night because when your body temperature raises from being in the water, the cooling sensation helps you go to sleep at night. And in the morning, it does the opposite. It gets your heart flowing and gets your heart rate up and, and, and gets your blood flowing so you wake up and feel refreshed. I got into the hot tub business over 20 years ago. Over the years, met a lot of new friends in the business and the industry and then a lot of customers are still friends of mine. One well, of the first hot tubs I saw were just red barrels and they just mainly had one jet that allowed it to heat the water and then they had like an air blower that blow the bubbles in there and they started progressing, they started putting more jets and then they started going to multiple pumps, more jets and then over the 20 years I've been in it, I've seen them go from a dozen jets to 110 jets in it. Since we do the refurbished tubs, we can put new cabinets, new control packs, new motors, fix leaks, new jets. We can do some modification to them. Still about a half to a third of what the new ones are for a comparable tub. Swim Spa was the main one that I've had for years. You can use it to exercise in, to swim in. Uh, a lot of times people that have disabilities, the swimming is what's recommended by the doctors, just because they're able to do that without you know, putting out a lot of you know, exertion. When they get done, they, they are actually relaxed and don't have to do a lot of cool down. Those are our spa beds. You lay on top of them. You don't have to take your clothes off. They have hot water and they have jets in there that massage you. It doesn't take long, I mean, five minutes on the bed and then you turn it off and you just relax and almost fall asleep instantly and you don't have to get wet. It's like a water bed with jets in it. I have a customer that's had her tub over 20 years. She didn't want a new one, she wanted that one and, and we uh, refurbished it for her and she's extremely happy with it. Can't believe how new it looks and it's over 20 years old. 
Chris is a great guy, and I love the way he restores hot tubs and passes on the savings to his customers. If you'd like to learn more about Chris's hot tubs, visit thehottubclub.com. But you know, I looked all over that place, and I did not find not even one hot tub time machine. Stick around. There's more Explore Tulsa just ahead. Hi, Dr. Robert Zellner here. For over 20 years, I've offered affordable, convenient eye care in Tulsa. Right now, you can get one pair of glasses or contact lenses starting at just $99 or my two-pair deal for $129. Hey, and as always, the eye exam's included. Walk-ins are always welcome. Glasses are ready in about an hour. Plus, we have over 2,000 claims to choose from. We're open seven days a week. Come see why we're voted Tulsa's best. And our drive through at 69th and Memorial makes pickup simple and easy. For the best eye care value in Tulsa, Dr. Robert Zellner & Associates. Hi, I'm Rob Lowe, and I have Direct TV. And I'm peaked in high school, Rob Lowe, and I have cable. Direct TV is wireless, so you can put your TVs anywhere without having to look at those ugly wires and boxes in every room. Cable isn't wireless, but you just gotta put something in front of them. I'm still in awe of how great my TVs look, and I'm still captain of the team. Don't be like this me. Get your DirecTV upgrade and custom installation today from Video Revolution, your official Tulsa area DirecTV connection. I better compare other TV prices on my cell phone. Hey, what are you doing there? Oh, uh, I thought I had a text message or something. No worries. At Video Revolution, we encourage our customers to shop around for the best price. We'll even match it. For 28 years, Video Revolution has offered service, features, and prices you won't find in a big box store. You know, you look like Joe Pesci. Be sure and join us next week when we take a little day trip to Sand Springs, learn all about the Herbal Affair Festival. Special thanks to Coach JC for putting together the program that helps keep Tulsa's protective force in great shape with fit first responders. Thanks to John Sumner, Shelley, and Yvonne for introducing us to Disney's Big Meat Run. And thanks to the Vest family for showing us around passion by design, art gallery, and gift shop. And to Chris for teaching us a little bit about the benefits of owning a hot tub at the Hot Tub Club. Remember, if you miss any of the show, you can always catch us at ExploreTulsa.com. As always, each week we feature the people, places, and attractions that make us proud to call Tulsa our home. Hey, don't forget to like us on Facebook. Share with us someone you think Tulsa should know more about. Plus remember, Explore Tulsa is brought to you by Video Revolution, located on the northwest corner of 71st and Lewis. Stop by, say hello to Ron and all the guys for your home entertainment needs. And Explore Tulsa is also proudly brought to you by Dr. Robert Zollner and Associates. Home of the two pair for a $129 deal with two locations, 3030 South Harvard and 69th and Memorial. Well, that's all the time we have for you on this week's show, but we'll see you next week right here on Explore Tulsa.